What's good everyone, it's Exact here. Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. And welcome back to the series where pro players create very difficult challenge maps for me and you can also play along in the description. In today's video, we got challenges from three pros, including Lenly and Debre. Debre was quite excited for me to play his map. I think it's gonna be very difficult indeed. But it also looks like we're not gonna start out easy because Lenly is predicting that I get less than 2000 points on his challenge. And if he is correct, that will actually be the lowest score of the series so far. The score to beat is 3,532. So yeah, we're just gonna have to see how we all stack up here. You can play in the link in the description. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can get 2000 points indeed. First round here, immediately it looks difficult, sure, but we can actually see into the distance here a house. Immediately my vibe here was um, Nigeria. Now we don't see the car, the Google car peeking through, so probably not actually Nigeria here. Ah, uh, leaves us with a difficult question. What is this house doing? Is it a Brazilian house? Is it somewhere in Thailand, perhaps? Is it Indonesia? These seem to be pretty much the main options to me. Interesting plan here. Like, yeah, this is definitely a difficult one. Let's see if we can peer through here. Unfortunately, that gap is not gonna give us anything. Neither is that direction. How much rubbish do we see here? So we see a little bit, but not that much. Not as much as you'd see in a lot of other countries. Um, I actually kind of like Thailand here. It's not a very typically Thai house, um, but that is one of my main thoughts here. Yeah, the Google car is simply too small, I think, for guessing in Nigeria. But uh, yeah, it definitely looks African. So let's run through the options. Could this be South Africa? It could be all the way up north in South Africa. It would be very, it would be a strange round for South Africa, but it's not out of the question. I kind of don't mind that idea. Um, Brazil is obviously possible because Brazil always has red dirt like this most times. And the house is strange for Brazil, but not impossible, especially because we lack context here all in all. Um, hmm. Okay, so let's move to other options. Maybe like a North Argentina, not even out of the question, you know, as strange as it would be. And actually the house would fit better for Argentina than it would for Brazil. Still don't love it. I think something about this plant here doesn't feel particularly Argentinian. Feels more so Southeast Asian. You do see that, see that one in Peru as well, but I don't think this is Peru too flat. Mexico, not out of the question again. The house fits better for Mexico than it does for some of the other countries we mentioned. But the soil is very red for Mexico, that has to be said. So, uh, and then of course we do not have the, ooh, I'm gonna turn off the compass really quick. Okay, I hadn't checked the compass. The compass is now gone, which is good. Um, and we're back and yeah. Nothing's really clearer to me. This building holds the key to the round, and yet I can definitely see it being in, in a number of countries. Yeah, I, I still think vegetationally, I like Thailand the best, and yet it doesn't make a whole lot of sense um, in terms of the building, it must be said. So yeah, main thoughts, Thailand. I think secondarily, maybe I would take it North Argentina or something in like Southern Brazil, maybe even Central Brazil. The like, other option would be Mexico, but I think I prefer Thailand and maybe something else in Southeast Asia the most at this stage. Um, and I think that's what I'm gonna guess, even though I'm fairly sure that certain this is wrong. And I think with, uh, with the car fully blurred, I think I might've tried Nigeria here, but that is the way things go. Let us see where this actually was. It's gonna be wrong, I can tell you. Where is it actually? Oh, it was Thailand. Okay, we got our three, we got our 2,000 points. Let's go. That's a good, that's a good start. Okay, let's head through. It wasn't a Thai house, so I'm, I'm pretty impressed that I managed to uh, go to the right place there. But okay, next one here. A lot of red soil again. Let's take a look around. Okay. That's a pole, I think, or is it just a tree? Hard to say. Um, okay, we have fairly temperate vegetation here. Very red soil. Um, what are these trees? Maybe nut trees or something like that, I wonder. Um, we have some pink flowers here. Sometimes I see those in South Africa, so I can actually see this one being South Africa. We've got like a shed peeking through here, which is interesting as well. And then down that way, we have, ooh, like a, like a factory. So this is a country with a lot of industry. We have some banana plants here as well. I still like the South Africa idea. At least I don't have a good reason not to go there. The, the shed would fit that. The red soil admittedly is a bit strange. Same with the tree plantation, but I've definitely seen this pink flower in South Africa. I've definitely seen banana plants and a big factory like that would at least make sense. So let's run through some other options. Brazil, always an option. Um, though I don't love it. Mexico, I can actually see certain little regions working, although, again, don't love that. South Africa option, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much liking, like, Mbombela, maybe. Probably a bit too flat for Mbombela area, which is pretty mountainous. Um, but what about, like, Tanzine or something like that? Could even just be Joh Johannesburg or Durban or something like that. Um, and again, of course, we can't figure out which direction this is, but 
it could that be a big port? And I think it's a factory, but it could be a big port as well, in which case Durban would obviously be a pretty good place. They have a big port in Durban. Um, and Durban also does have fairly, fairly red soil, a lot of like tropical type of plants, like banana plants can grow there. So maybe I'll actually go Durban here over um, Tanzin, which is my kind of other good thought here. Bombela as well. I'm going to go for Durban here. I, I think it's wrong. Um, I don't think I've thought of the actual right country here, but maybe Brazil would be my other thought here. Let's head it in for Durban. And okay, it was actually Taiwan. Never seen that kind of red soil in Taiwan. Very difficult round, zero points. As, uh, as as was probably deserved there. Okay, next one here. In Europe, presumably, with this thin road, pale road. Um, but is that what we're meant to think? And it's actually not there. It's very lush in a way that doesn't really look like Europe. Could this be like southern Thailand? I, I don't think so. I think the trees don't feel Thai to me, at least. Um, and, and the paleness of the road, it looks like it's something in Bulgaria or something like that. I'm not checking the copyright here because that is uh, against the rules on the series, unless I happen to see it. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what we're working with here. I think the vegetation and everything feels European. And I think my main thought is Balkan. So Bulgaria, um, Romania, maybe Croatia, uh, all three possible in my opinion. Italy is actually a pretty decent shout as well, I think. But that's really my main area here. That's really... It's really what I'm vibing with. So I think I'll, I think I'll go for like a, a Bulgarian forest here. Um, the dryness as well. I, I think it's not Thailand, which would be my other mental. We already had a Thailand as well. Of course, that would probably lean you away from it. Um, and I don't really see another option that I like, unless it was US. US is, of course, always possible. Although with the road this thin, it seems rather unlikely. So I'm going to go for Bulgaria here. And it was Bulgaria. Very nice indeed. Two countries. Well, Lenly, well, Lenly, I've actually, uh, I've actually exceeded expectations here, I must be said. Okay, next one. Okay, so very tropical here. No Google car, um, of course. Um, eucalyptus plantation here. Could this be South Africa this time? Maybe. I've noticed that we have a lot of this, like, Terengganu weed here. This is, uh, Terengganu is this state here. I notice it grows a lot there. This does not particularly look like um, like Malaysia, to be fair. The road's really wide and dirt, and that and that combination doesn't really feel a Malaysian, but that weed is really common there, so I have to at least consider it. I think Southeast Asia is most likely for that reason, but we already tried South Africa. I think there's places in South Africa and Eswatini that look like this, like around this region here. So especially with the uh, eucalypt plantation, that is still a consideration for me here. I've definitely seen the Terengganu weeds in Col Cambodia before. So Cambodia's not out of the question. And actually Thailand, again, we've had it before, but Thailand's not out of the question for me here as well. Um, so yeah, I think I'm kind of between Southern Africa and Thailand once again here. Um, and yeah, I don't know. What about the, like the, the, the sky is fairly like, Looks like there might be a bit of pollution in the air. It's kind of hard to say. It's a bit dusty, of course. Um, and then I guess I guess we'll have to use this Terengganu uh, plant, which I, which I which I think I've never seen in South Africa. So I think I will opt for maybe Cambodia here. Maybe Cambodia is the play, um, and maybe it is actually just Malaysia. In which case I'll be a bit disappointed because the road does not feel Malaysian, um, but it could always be the case. So I think I'll go for Cambodia. And uh, we have had a bunch of Southeast Asia, but I know that. Lenly is a bit of a Southeast Asian enjoyer, so I think I'll just go for it here. Um, I think I've basically said everything I want to say here. I think it should be Southeast Asia, so let's see if we're right about that. And okay, it was just uh, in Indonesia. Now that makes sense as well, of course, you do see that in Indonesia quite commonly, especially Kalimantan, but also Sumatra as well. Uh, not too bad, we got the region there. Getting the continent on around like that is not too bad, um, even in the right hemisphere, so that's good. Okay, next one here, last one. We're on 8K, we can still get a 10K score here, which would obviously be ideal. We have big wind turbines here. More commonly seen in Europe, it must be said, WTG3216A. Not really sure what the meaning of that is. Um, and yeah, what are we looking at here? We've got a bunch of red soil. It's been the theme of the uh, of the round, really. Everything apart from the last round had red soil. Um, it kind of looks like maybe, it almost looks a bit like America. Um, and yet it, it feels strange for America as well. And the WTG32 doesn't really strike me as an American sign either. So uh, yeah, but it could be like Oklahoma or something. That's not out of the question. Um, hmm. so big, like, kind of, we're on, like, a really big hill, in a way, 
Um, yeah, wind turbines have to make you think of Europe, right? So, I still think I would probably go there. Um, and yet, I don't, I don't really pick where it would be with this red soil. It's, yeah, it's very strange. It's very strange. Hmm. Can I actually figure something out here? This is a strange round. I, I've looked it up for quite some time now, and my head is still empty. So, what does that really mean? I think it's, I think it's Europe or the US. Um, it almost gave me a bit of an Australia vibe. Um, I guess this kind of looks like a eucalypt, but yeah, it's not Australia. I'm pretty sure of it. If it is, it's very strange. Um, yeah, and, and this field, it looks like it should be cultivated. And it also looks like kind of like the messy field that you'd often see in like a, a poorer country. Um, and yet I just don't, I just don't pick where it would be. Maybe it's Brazil. Maybe these are some strange Brazilian, um, some strange Brazilian wind turbines and... For some reason, like, I've just never seen them before, and, and that's it. The rockiness of the soil, that would make a fair amount of sense. I, I uh, I don't love it, because I, I just can't pick it where it would be in Brazil either. But at least that would make sense of the red soil and the kind of, kind of more neutral-looking trees, which could fit for Europe or for, or for, uh, or for America. So I think my, my options would be the main one in Brazil, then maybe, like, Oklahoma as possible, and maybe something in Eastern Europe. I don't know, like, Ukraine... Romania or something. I don't really know. It just doesn't really make sense to me. I don't think it's Turkey, but could be Spain. France even, maybe Spain. Yeah. I don't know. I WTG 32A. It looks like it might be Brazilian font, honestly. I think I've seen that in Brazil before. So, like on signs and stuff. So, I will go Brazil. I will go in um, Goyas. Maybe Brasilia would have those, just because it's the federal capital, you know. Maybe. I'll go Brasilia here. I don't have a reason not to. And, okay, it was in Thailand as well. Cheeky put in the twice in a row. Thailand occurred to me, actually, but I just didn't say it because I thought it's already been in Thailand and we already had a bunch of Southeast Asia. But there we go. We had four Southeast Asias and a uh, Bulgaria. So the Bulgaria, I guess, was meant to bait for Southeast Asia. And we managed for 8,542. Not the greatest score ever, but... It does indeed put us above the 2,000 points. Um, so, yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, so that places Lenly in the fourth hardest map here with 8,542. And the next one is made by Ross Common, a good friend of mine. Also a very strong player, so let's see what he's chosen for us today. I have a feeling that Ross will not go easy on us, but the first round here is looking at least achievable. It kind of feels like Europe, right? So we have some bins over here, first clue. Definitely feeling European. Landscape behind also feels European. Almost looks like we might have Cyrillic on the uh sign there though it's not really legible okay here we go q668 maybe something like that interesting Ooh, so we get a very we get a we get a city view here now this is interesting so it almost looks like mexico with the random jutting mountains the apartment buildings here i think it still should be europe the people look maybe european oh, that's very difficult though Okay, so the language here, www, so is it .ru or .su or something like that? I don't think it's .mx, so I think we could probably rule out Mexico, unless... No, I changed my mind. I do think it's a website, but I don't think it's a domain at the end. Um, so I'm not going to read into that. Okay, what about the building itself, though? So it's some kind of an art studio or what? I don't know. Okay, over here, a bunch of, like, telecommunication stuff. It's a strange round. It feels like Europe or Turkey to me, all in all. Um, we have a bunch of spruces here, which are common in uh, Eastern Europe, but these ones are planted, so... And it's very fertile land. Look at that. So that's what gives me cause for concern here, you know? I should recognize this landscape pretty immediately, and I don't. Okay, what about this? So, Southern Poland, does that work? I think the trees will feel too warm for Southern Poland, so I'm going to rule that out. Um, what about Ukraine? I think I don't think there's any way where you'd kind of look down onto the city like this in a valley. So I'm going to rule out Ukraine as well. We have a mural here with a lot of mountains depicted on it. And uh, I'm seeing this guy. He's very white, but I do think the trees actually are kind of just high altitude but warm climate trees. Uh, it looks like it was taken during the summer. So I'm going to shift my attention down here. Bulgaria. Plovdiv. Could we look, be looking at Plovdiv? I don't think so. Um, in fact, we don't have to be looking north, of course. This could be looking any direction. But I think, like, this kind of area is certainly the kind of the, certainly the kind of place that's possible. So I think Bulgaria is a good default guess. The thing is, it's taken during the summer, and we know that mostly Bulgaria was shot during the winter. So what about, like, 
Hmm. Uh, Serbia is actually pretty decent here, I think. Um, Albania, I don't mind. We don't have rifts in the sky, but Albania is pretty possible. I think it's Balkan. I do. I do think it's Balkan overall. Um, I don't think it's Turkey. I don't think the like city layout looks Turkish. I'm just hoping that it's not Mexico somehow, because that's the only other thing I could really think of here. Um, with this kind of very fertile looking land. It's very strange. It's very strange overall, but I think I'm happy to go for my guess of Serbia and uh, just see what else it, what else would actually be. Um, because it's very curious to me. That looks like, it also looks like Cyrillic, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, it's also very flat nearby though. I think Nish, Nish, okay, Nish actually could fit here. I'll go Nish, let's try that. Wow, okay, Pachyogorsk. Actually, yeah, so Ross Common is a very keen Russia player. That does not surprise me. It was Cyrillic, and that is why... So I guess, are there some volcanoes here? The, the, the soil is very dark there. Uh, that makes sense. It didn't It didn't really feel like mainland Europe, I guess. 1.5k, it could be worse. It could be worse. Let's hope that future rounds can go better, though. Next one here. This is familiar. It's familiar looking. Could this be Bhutan? Oh no, we got, okay, we have some, again, this kind of similar Telanganu, Terenganu looking vegetation here. Maybe not the exact one. Oh, this is familiar. I've seen this before and I don't know where it is. So Google Car's completely obscured. We have like a dirt road here. Um, oh man, this is, oh man, I've seen this before. I think I've seen the exact location before maybe, but doesn't mean I know where it is. That is the sad truth of it. Could it ever be... Uganda or something. I don't I don't think it's Uganda. Um everything's very overgrown in a tropical way. Um it could be, it could be Kenya though. I don't mind the idea of Kenya. I don't think it's there, but I don't mind that idea. Um Indonesia could be what well possible here. I think I think Indonesia's a good shout. I think Southeast Asia or Africa. I'm noticing it's very sandy here. Um yeah, this uh it's difficult. It's difficult. Um, what about the holes in the wall here? It's, yeah, I don't know, something something still draw, dry, draws me towards Kenya, especially this view here, I guess. Um, it could also be, like, it could be a bunch of places. We don't have the roof rack, though, so I guess Kenya, immediately less likely. It's possible, but it's less likely. Okay, so maybe I want to try, like, a Cambodia and Indonesia here. I think that's now the area of the world that seems most likely. Um... And of the countries, I guess Indonesia, but Indonesia is so huge that you, you don't really feel great about it. This fence is also interesting as well. Yeah, I don't know, don't know. I'm going to go for Kalimantan here as a hedge. Let's, let's give that a go. Where's it actually going to be? Okay, it was actually in Bangladesh. Well, wow, right downtown Chittagong there, on some the end of some alley. Um, difficult round. We pick up a few points, which is at least something, but yeah, only 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 vaguely in the right area of the world there. Next one here immediately looks like Iceland. I think it's not going to be there, I suppose, but can we have some trees, some elevation? Shouldn't be Iceland then. Whatever it is, it definitely bears resemblance to Iceland, but I see, looking in the distance here, there are far too many trees uh, for it to actually be there. Okay. I've seen similar rounds in Denmark before. Sometimes coastal Denmark can have this kind of vibe to it. I suppose, um, like there's places in the US that could look like this as well, maybe on the East Coast, but no, not on the East Coast itself, because we have hills that are too big. I think Chile is also a decent shout here. Uh, some Southern Chile locations can have this kind of vibe to them too. So what about the road? Road, I would say maybe of the ones I've mentioned so far feels more Chilean. We have actually a yellow center line here. So obviously Chile using white center lines immediately seems less likely, though not impossible. Um, now turning my attention back to the US, where in the US could this be? West Coast or East Coast? Maybe it feels more like West Coast if it is the US. Um, I'm trying to think if this is, okay, if this is, East, if this is East Coast, where would we get hills on the coast like that? Almost nowhere really. I mean, it could be like Cape Cod, that would be pretty cheeky. But everywhere seems to be pretty much yeah, more more or less um, flat along the east coast, which is where I thought it was. So then west coast is possible, something in California or Oregon or something like that. Not out of the question at all, um, and I kind of like it, especially with the white. I think I think I would go Chile were it not for the yellow line peeking through here. So I think I think USA is the call 
even though it is a very strange round, I think I will go for that. Oregon maybe seeming the most likely here in a place like maybe North Bend or something like that. Not out of the question at all, you know. Um, although we see complete flatness there, whatever direction this is. So we would have to be maybe more so someone like this or someone like Trans-Pacific Lane. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's not a bad shout here. I feel like this, uh, it, we could actually have clicked the right place. It, though that is very unlikely, it's not out of the question. So I'm gonna send in here. I, I feel good about US. So I don't feel necessarily good about the region here. We'll see. Um, and wow, what a guess. That was actually in Northern California. We managed to figure it out there based on the uh, road line. And all things considered, clicked a very similar looking place there. Like our guess here and this place here, if you look, very similar looking landscape. So 4K there is definitely a W. You're happy with that guess. And the next one here is interesting looking. So let's take a look around. Okay, we've got a white signpost here. I feel like we might be back in Russia. If I know Roscommon, then I would say we might be back in Russia. We have a mini rift. Not really helpful. Um, we have a white painted signpost though. That's what feels a bit Russian here. Maybe like Irkutsk or like Ulan Uda area here could, could fit. Um, it's very flat though. I mean, obviously Russia has a lot of far places. It has a lot of undulation as well. Very sandy as well. It could be somewhere near Baikal. I mean, you get similar looking stuff to this, like, near here in Baikal. So I think I would be amenable to just giving that a go. Um, it could also just be Baltic. It could just be, like, a very strange Lithuania or something like that as well. Uh, but I think I like Russia the best. I think I do. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if the trees really fit where I'm, where I'm guessing here. It could also just be US. It could be a lot, a lot of different things, but... Or Argentina, Uruguay, also possible. I will go for Russia here. I think it's best. And it was actually, wow. I just guessed Russia on Sumba Island in Indonesia. 33 points. Um, yeah, in hindsight, makes maybe more sense than my guess. But still, I would uh, never go Sumba here, I think. It's a very difficult island to get at the best of times. And at the worst of times, it's downright impossible. So there we go. We lose our country streak. And our final round here on 6,000 points. Surely we can you know, get at least towards that 10,000 mark. And we have buildings here. Portuguese looking building. Could this be the US though? Maybe. Sometimes you get that kind of very uh, European looking Riviera kind of area and then it ends up being completely wrong. Um, this is like a golf course maybe. So this could be South America as well, I think. Um, pretty fancy house over there. Yeah, it feels like a golf course here. So it could be South Africa, could be like Uruguay. Um, could be USA. I kind of like the Uruguay idea, even though this is very wealthy for Uruguay. I, I feel like I've seen similar looking little things in Montevideo before. Um, maybe not in the city itself, but yeah, maybe something like that or something like over here or there's a golf course there. Hmm. I don't think we see like a proper, yeah, I don't think we'd see what we're actually looking for, but there are also places like little inlets and stuff, even stuff in the center of the country that have a similar vibe, so I think I'm happy with that, honestly. Um, yeah, but I hope it's not Europe. I think this is Europe bait. I don't actually think, I think it's like a, the, the golf course makes me think that this is somewhere else, somewhere new world. Um, yeah, okay, I think I'm happy to go for it. I've mentioned what I think is possible here. I think also Russia is actually an outside shot here, but I will go for Uruguay here. And, okay, what's well, South Africa? Yeah, another thought I had. Um, not too bad there. Uh, golf courses are hard to guess at the best of times, but we are redeemed by our great, um, West Coast US guest there for 6,155 points. Easy to forget, but this was actually the second hardest round of the entire series so far. So well done to Ross Common there for coming through with an absolute banger. And here we have it, a balanced world, which is created by Debray. Go ahead and play it in the description. Um, and here we go. Well, this is the main item of the video and I'm expecting the locations to be very difficult indeed. And here we go on the first one, in a pine forest. Surely he can't bait me into missing Australia. Um, that's immediately what I'm thinking here. This could be Australia, but there's, there's, there's no shortage of places where a pine forest like this can exist. Um, obviously USA, Russia, any, I feel like, I feel like there are legitimately 30 countries here that are theoretically possible. Can even see like Colombia, like a weird Colombia or a weird Mexico. I mean, Brazil, Mexico as well, though. Mexico is not even a bad shout here, I think. Um, but yeah, this is this is ridiculously 
I mean, forest, planted forest rounds are about as hard as they come. That's basically the truth of it. Love to check out the copyright here, but we're not going to do that. Um, do I have a better idea than Australia? Because I feel like you might try and really go for a crazy Australia, and this would be psychologically the best opportunity to do it, where there's no gum trees, there's no eucalypts in sight. Um, yeah, I don't see why not, you know. Um, I think I might try it, just because there's really no better, there's really no better option in my mind than to give that a go. Um, now, would it be Adelaide? I don't think this is Adelaide. I feel like if this is Australia, it's more like Tasmania or more likely Victoria, somewhere in like this kind of region, maybe. So that's what I'm going to give a go here. Um, I don't know what I think. Um, as I said, like, I really, uh, wherever, it's, wherever it's going to be, I'm not going to be like, oh, I should have gone there. You know, it's one of those rounds. So let's just see if I'm right, shall we? And... Okay, it was Australia. We get the country there. Um, a very difficult round out there in Western Australia. Very difficult. He really saved up a hard one there. And if I was playing a map that wasn't created for me, I doubt I could go Australia there. Though maybe I could, I doubt I could. So there we go, 800 points, not a bad start. Um, but the fact that we only got 800 points there makes me feel that, um, yeah, that's, that's, we might, we might be like more constricted in Southeast Asia here just for that reason, because the score is very low for Australia. Hmm. Yeah, because normally you'd get 1.5 thousand points. So anyway, let's not overthink things here. Next one here, um, Blue Roof makes you think of Southeast Asia, for sure. Oil Palms make you think of Southeast Asia as well. So obviously oil palms predominantly grown in like Sumatra, Kalimantan, Malaysia, that kind of area. But is that bait? Is that all bait? Maybe this is an oil plantation that you see in Mexico or in, for example, um, Colombia also has them. But I, I think this still looks more like Sumatra. So um, basically we have the battle of, do I go with, with what it looks more like or do I go with what it should be based on the fact that it's a bait map? I wonder if there's any uh, palm oil plantations in Bangladesh. That's something that's possible here. Um, Sri Lanka? I don't think so. I think the blur is wrong. Yeah. But Bangladesh is not out of the question. I, I just don't think I've ever seen it before, so I wouldn't be confident to go there. I do, however, think that, uh, you could really make a good argument for Colombia here, especially because the house is, it does look Asian, but it's, it's, it's definitely generic. It's not something that you would not expect to see elsewhere. However, these palms, that would be more Mexico or Southeast Asia, I think. They don't quite feel... Yeah, they don't quite feel to me um, typical South America. So, all in all, it's a difficult round. Um, again, we're in the kind of planted forest where you're unlikely to pick up many points if you don't have the Carmet or something like that because there's really not too much else to go off of. Um, I think I'll go Sumatra. That's, that, that's so plain Jane of an answer, and yet to me it's the most likely. I think we're likely to be in that vicinity. Um, and I really hope it's not Mexico because that could have, that would be my second guess here. Um, maybe, maybe a Philippines. Maybe that's what we're missing here. Maybe this is Philippines. That's pretty good as well, honestly. Especially with the extra palms. I don't mind that. Ooh, it's not commonly found. Maybe, maybe. I, I feel too bad going for a plain chain guess, which is Sumatra. That's too, that's too simple. I'm going to go for Philippines. I just thought of it. But I like the idea. I do, I do, I do. So I'm going to go Maspat, Maspate Island here. And okay, it was Mexico. Damn. Yeah. Chiapas. I couldn't, I couldn't quite justify it because I was thinking of Cancun and I, I just didn't really think it looked quite like that. But Chiapas is another place where you get those. And yep, I mean, it feels bad that it's my second option and that we got the exact right latitude. But, you know, that is, uh, that is the way it goes. Okay, zero points there. Next one here. This is gettable. Surely, we actually have some landscape to work with here. It's very dry. Could it be Australia again? No, I don't think so. This river doesn't look Australian. Is that actually a river or a road? Okay, it's a road. That makes me think we might be in Turkey. Um, rocky landscape here. My, first, my very first thought as we loaded in was Peru. But, I mean, it could be Peru. Not out of the question. But these undulating mountains, these kind of... They look very much like Australia. These kind of mountains are... Uh, Maybe not that Peruvian looking. The road feels quite Turkish in the distance. Maybe up close, it doesn't have that typical Turkish pavement, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, what else can we get, gather here? We do have some trees, not too many, but they dot the landscape in a way that, yeah, could could be Turkish. Ooh, 
It's an interesting one. Okay, let's let's break down possible options here. Turkey at this direction, I still like. That's my main guess. Um, Europe more widely. Ooh, I mean, I don't think it's Greece. And then I think you're basically out of options at that point. So I think it's not Europe. Um, South Africa, I don't think it is. Um, South America, I think Peru is pretty decent, honestly. And then maybe. Argentina. I, I think I would have seen this in Argentina, though. I think this is actually, yeah, I don't think it's quite possible. So, yeah, I think Peru would be the main thought there. Mexico. We just had Mexico, but I could see Mexico. I don't think I can see Mexico, actually. Okay, so I'm discounting that. US, you never know. Like, it could be a very strange California, because you do get these shaped hills in California. The road is so poor. But then again, you never know what Debray found. He may have just found the worst road in California. So actually, I, I count California as a real possibility here. Yeah, California, Oregon, and Washington are all possible. Okay, so Peru, Turkey, or West Coast US. That's my main thoughts here. I don't think I actually see anything else as being possible, um, although it could well be. So what do we choose then? Gosh, man, I, I actually see all three options as really alive. I think US is the least likely. I really think I'm between Turkey and Peru here. And the grassiness of it all, it is strange for both countries. So I wouldn't be surprised if I've, if, if I've missed it completely as well. But they're my real two front-running theories here. And yeah, I just I just don't know which one I like better. I think maybe Peru slightly, but I don't really remember seeing these kind of grass-covered, like, undulating mountains. So maybe I have to go Turkey for that reason. Again, the pavement here... It certainly could be Turkish, but it's not that typical kind of Turkish dotted pavement that you that you like to see when you're guessing there. So, hmm. All in all, I think I will send Turkey here, and I really hope I'm not on the wrong end of the 50-50 again. Um, but I have a feeling I may be. Well, let's go for Turkey here and find out if we're correct. And okay, it was California. Yeah, my third thought. Bakersfield, east of Bakersfield there. Um, and now we were inside those undulating mountains, very much like South Australia, actually. So that's how I recognize them. I always think of Californian hills as, as very similar in shape. Um, but I didn't know Bakersfield would look like that. And there you go. Um, and, and the road is such poor quality um, that it makes it really hard to get. It really does. So there you go. Maybe Turkey not the best guess. I, I, I don't really know. But it's another two-pointer. Debre is currently contending for the... Uh, for the lowest score in the series history. And here we have what looks to be Southeast Asia again, but, big but, last time we had these oil palms, we were not there. And this time, I feel like it may be the same case. However, this time, could we be in like the oil palm plantations maybe in Cambodia instead? I also think distinctly possible this time is Colombia, because this one looks a bit more like Colombian coverage to me. So that is what we're after. Look, we've either had no trees or tree plantations here, which has made life a lot harder. Um, and this is no exception, of course. Well, we do have some ground vegetation this time too. That's at least our friend. Um, yeah, very neatly planted here. Yeah, so this time, for whatever reason, I'm between Cambodia and Colombia. The two very similar sounding countries, very different in landscape. Both very mountainous in, in many ways, and this is quite flat. So, I mean, of course, if I'm playing a normal game, I'll probably just go Sumatra here again. Um, but I think I'm going to try Cambodia this time. Strange though it is, I think Cambodia and Thailand, to a lesser extent, both make sense. Um, so I'm going to go for that. Um, am, I, am I likely to be right here? Don't think so. Don't think so. Um, but could I be? Yes. And I, I really, I'm, I'm betting on that. I, I bet also on the fact that this, this ground vegetation feels quite Asian. Um, so I think I like it. I think I'm going to go for it here. Um, anticipating something in this circle or maybe just Mexico again. We'll see what it actually is here. And, oh no, it was Colombia. No, the 50-50s keep, keep slipping from us. Keep, keep slipping from us, you guys. Um, Every single time, I think I mentioned the uh, the right continent, right? So this is, uh, yeah, I have. So this is uh, this is annoying. This is definitely annoying. We have to pick the right one or else Debre has actually managed to trick us. And here we have it. So we have like a very South American looking vent. So I think by the logic of the map so far, we shouldn't go South America. 
um, grass in the center of the road, um, and a forest of some kind out here, some bamboo growing, by the way. So maybe it actually could be Brazil. You do see that in southern Brazil quite a lot of the time. Um, nah, this is, um, this is hard. So, could it be like Peru or something? Maybe. Could we finally be in Southeast Asia? Maybe that's the uh, bait here, that all the others that were Southeast Asian looking um, were actually part of the oil plantations elsewhere. I should have known it was Debray. We should have gone for the craziest guess because it could have, it would have worked out. It, all three times, my, my like last hunch was the one that was actually correct. So that's kind of annoying, you know? Okay, um, green hill in the background here. Hmm. Interesting looking hill there. I mean, standard wise, I would probably just click, click Colombia. We had Colombia. I'm not going to do that. Even though Lenly put two Thailands, this time I'm not going to do that. Um, down the trail. Could it ever be like Taiwan? That would be a really interesting Taiwan. I don't mind that idea, you know, especially with the uh, bamboo. You know, it's out of the question. Yeah, I was complaining about a lack of tree and vegetation that were naturally like growing, but this time we have plenty of those and it's not really helping me. I'm not, I'm not sure where this is. I don't think it's the US. I'm pretty confident on that. We already had West US anyway. I don't mind the Brazil idea. I don't, we already had Colombia, but I don't mind the Brazil idea. I don't think it's Africa as a whole. I do think Asia, this could be a pretty crazy Thailand. This could be a pretty crazy Philippines or something like that. That I could get behind. I actually don't mind the whole uh, Taiwan idea. Like it's pretty crazy, but it's not out of the question at least. Um, yeah, what else would it be? Indonesia is always possible. Indonesia has plenty of different biomes. Many can look like this. If I was picking an island, it's it's already difficult to say, but I guess maybe I would try something in the uh, nooses or... Yeah, I guess maybe I'll try something in the nooses. So that, okay, that's a possibility. Uh, Brazil, Southern is a possibility, and, and uh, I think I might go for Taiwan here, all in all. Um, just because, I mean, uh, would you ever see a fence like that? That's the thing. I think we have to disregard the fence. It looks South American, but we have to disregard it, I think. Oh, Chile. Chile, I think it's actually a pretty good shot here, by the way. Maybe I try Chile. Maybe I try Chile here. Just because Chile has like these very European looking forests that just don't quite, they're not quite European. The fence makes sense. Bamboo, I'm not so sure about for Chile, but yeah, why not, you know? I can see that. I can see that being a difficult little location. The mountain makes sense, it being green. We don't know the direction of the mountains, so that's also something, of course, to consider. Hmm. A lot on the line here. I really don't want to be the one failing on Debray's map. Like, let Debray have that glory, especially after I almost picked it so many times. But, I mean, if this is Taiwan, I'm going to be so mad. But I think I go for Chile here. Not always that I like to switch over to my very final thought, but that just seems to make a, a good deal of sense to me. Because I don't see any, like, convincing evidence that it's tropical. Like, maybe these waxy-looking leaves are. Maybe they are. These these are vines. But but nothing out here gives me, like, the distinct impression that it's tropical. So I'm going to try chilling here and switch off, hopefully not the correct guess here. Let's go to Muko area. No, Taiwan would have been enough, man. Taiwan would have been enough. It's max north Philippines there. Again, yeah, that's far from the equator, of course, as you can get in the Philippines, so not quite tropical. Yeah, I mean, subtropical for sure, but there we go, zero points. We get 848 points. Oh, we got we got the country right once, though. It's a shame we didn't go on the right side of Australia. And there you go, the rest of them were basically 2 points, 0 points, 0 points. Um, a pretty impressive seed there. Um, and to be honest, like, my main thought, again, again... It's tragic. The, the, the reality of this seed is that we could have ended up with 10,000 plus points. Um, and that's a, it's a real reality because I would have gone North Colombia. I would have gone um, probably Cancun, I think. So that would have been another 2,000 points there. I would have gone probably, if I was going there, I think I would have gone like maybe Bay Area here. Um, and then I would have gone Taiwan. Yeah, we could have had a lot of points. We could have had at least 10,000 points. But we got 848 instead. Well played, Debray. Great map. And uh, yeah, looking forward to the next episode of this. That was crazy. Um, so...
<laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was an interesting one. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video all the way to the end. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a video very soon. Till next time, and goodbye.